Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. You probably saw a video about the exterior of that new C300 Coupe of Mercedes-Benz. So come on down and check the interior. You're gonna be amazed about the quality of finishing that you're gonna find inside. Let's open the door of that C300 coupe and as soon as the door is open well you will see the incredible build quality the interior which is really welcoming as, as I could say really nice well finished look at that look at those headdress stitches are quite nice article leather really impressive lots of adjustment Mercedes Benz right there, chrome indicator down, and you can see also those AMG mats, and you've got also that metal pedal. You've got not a lot of adjustment right here for the seat, but this is gonna be much more for Lombard. And when you're gonna check right here in the door, this is where all your commands for the seat will be. Even how to uh, turn on or off the heated seat, and since we've got that nice Burmester sound system, wow nice finish right there in the side of the door and even look at the end of the door as you can see also some nice finish i really like the leather the stitches how uh, everything is well done the chrome handle right here well chrome not really chrome more metallic in some kind of way same thing also for control of the door and you will see also right there the trunk nice and really interesting so let's take place inside no cold to or no plus for the window. Once you're inside, well, you will see that which is uh, lighting up and you can see the really nice leather finish everywhere in the car, that little metallic part, that wood finish. And for the key, well, it's exactly what you have right here. So typical Mercedes-Benz key. I love, really love what I'm seeing right now. So let's press once. You will see the steering wheel moving, all the screens opening. Let's press once again. And yes, rear left backrest, not latch. Oh, this is interesting. But as you can see in the rear, it's gonna tell me that, hey, something is not not a hatch right now. So it's probably my seat on the other side. I I, I uh, tried to unlatch it on the, on the previous video that I did. So it's telling me that it's not securely in place. So that's really cool. So right there on the left, I've got everything uh, for my lights, automatic feature. Yes, and parking on one side or another, I really love that. And the fog lights in the rear. So if you turn on or off those fog lights, it's gonna give a much more powerful lights in the rear of the car, which is gonna be useful for uh, if you're riding in the rain. So it's gonna be perfect for the other people to see you in the rear. Parking brake is right there down below. So it's kind of far and you've got also cruise control right here on the side and the adjustment possible for your um, your, your uh, steering wheel so that you can adjust in every way that you want. So paddle shift right there. You've got also um, uh, audio wiper system. And by the way, you have two function, two function of the button. The first one, well, is gonna give a shot of wiper like this one. But if you push more, it's gonna send the, wi the wiper fluid. So that's perfect. So let's press OK right there in the middle to cancel that warning. So your speed indicator, which is up there, revolution per minute speed, uh, gas down there, also an indicator of miles and kilometers per hour. I kind of love that. So uh, you can change the display by pressing right here. So if I press home, I'm gonna get into the trip menu and I can press still down with my kilometers range. The eco display, the from start, the from reset, and 10.8 is not too bad for the car that we have right now. So uh, let's press home again. Let's go through the menu. Navigation, same uh, as soon as I will enter a destination, I will see the information there. Radio, and by the way, you can access every channel from right here, including your memory. Where you see the number, this is memory. So media system, telephone, a graphic assistance, if you press there, you're gonna see a visualization of your car. And uh, right now I'm only equipped with blind spot monitoring as my main safety system, but hey, I will see if there's something right here 
on this side. But if you have more system, well, you're going to see more detail. So uh, attention assist system is going to give you a little warning to say you should take a break. You've been doing a long road. You got all the service information. Uh, for your tire and your service remainder and you've got also different settings so if you go to drive assist you want to turn off uh, the system for electronic stability where where well it's going to be there same thing for collision prevention and blind spot assist you can deactivate or activate every feature right there same thing also for the attention assist if you want it to be sensitive and it's going to be the same thing uh, also for different security feature that you will be able to go and change in there. You've got factory setting and you can bring it back to the original cluster. But right now we're going to finish with that trip and my spin indicator, which is the one I like the most. Those, there's a lot of light, uh, as you can see inside those different display. And you got also your gear selector. And by the way, this is the gear selector. So if you change a gear, well, you're going to do that uh, through here. Um, sound system uh, is incredible right now we've got a burmeister sound system so right now it's the radio only talking sorry no music right now since i don't have the xm satellite radio feature so i'm kind of sad even if i had this big screen right now i don't have uh, any music i need to plug in my phone and right now i forgot my phone it's kind of far so 13 speaker and you've got 590 watts of power with the sound through that 8.4 inch inches screen oh you can uh... for which radio functions do you want help save station select station radio info hd radio wave band all radio functions or voice controllable devices. Voice controllable devices? <laughs> the following devices are oh. voice controllable. She can understand really clearly, so that's kind of cool. So we can press off here if you want to simply move to something else. So right there you can see also the battle shift that I have. Uh, so it's going to be perfect to shift a gear. And believe me, this is once again a nice quality of battle shift. I really love that going through my seven speed. And this, this gearbox is so cool. So you've got that uh, screen right there, which is controllable through two features. So you've got that kind of round button right here that you can change. Uh, every menu that you see so as you will see it, it will go fast and you've got also that tactile that you can use to move to the different menu so the menu are also going to be uh, you're going to have shortcut through the menu with button right here navigation radio media telephone i already did a video about the mercedes-benz multimedia system so um i will give you the link guys so right there press on i if you want uh, to, to if you're on a mobile phone if you want to see to that video and also if you're on a PC or uh, anything else well feel free to click right there in the square if not well go check in our playlist of Mercedes-Benz and you're gonna find it so navigation quick uh, get getting into radio once again really quick you've got that Bluetooth player if you want to collect and you've got your phone feature and also your vehicle setting. This is probably the most cool because when you go into dynamic setting, you will be able to set the configuration of your personalized driving style and get more vehicle data about, well, the uh, horsepower, the steering direction, the acceleration, the braking, and if I had an adjustable suspension on this one, it would be even more cooler. So as you can see, this is really a complete information system that you have, but it needs some time to get used to it. Just sometimes switching between the radio, the FM, the media. So as you can see, well, we've got internet radio, so this is kind of cool. Yes, I've tried it, and you can even hear some radio from Africa. So quite easy once you know it. So you need to get accustomed with it. All the ear is the climatization system. So if you press on the menu right there, you will be able to get into your temperature menu, selecting the airflow distribution. And it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be usable with that tactile menu, uh, that tactile right there device. Other than that, you've got a nice watch. Look at that. This is so nice. I really love the detail, the design that you see right now in this clock wood finish in some kind of way and by the way all the grill you can direct and send wherever you want to nice wood finish some like some don't so if you like well feel free to come in and if you don't tell us why i prefer carbon though you know my taste for carbon so you've got nash tree 
yes a lighter plug right here cup holders right there on the side you've got your dynamic control that you can select uh, what driving style you want so if you want to go into individual sport sport plus and it will also change the display right here on the screen telling you where you are or what you have selected so right now i'm to eco mode you see more green it's going to tell me that i will have an eco-friendly drive so automated the start and stop feature of the engine volume of the radio You've got also the possibility to turn off or on off uh, the uh, the radio and right there this button well it's strange huh let's press it and see what will happen with my belt so there you go mr belt is more closer to me to buckle up and as you can see on the other side it didn't get out because it's sensing that there's a pass that there's no passenger right now with me so it won't uh, bring back the belt uh, for nothing so right there in the glove box you can see uh, the uh, possibility to lock or unlock the trunk you've got also those feature feature light halogen light standard you've got some led lights over here and you've got the possibility also to uh, open that nice and big panoramic sunroof all the lights in the car that you want to open or close and you've got also some reading led lights right there under the mirror that's going to give you an awesome lighting so when you open also the sun visor once again really nice and if you want to this is going to be a little bit harder i think oh, yes when it's brand new sometime and it's not extensible so too bad on this one so let's go in the rear and also i won't forget to pop the trunk and i will also open the hood already by pulling right here so as you can see it's going to be the red hatch if I want to also get in the rear, this is not going to be an easy task. It's really, really difficult. So you pull the latch and you move the seat forward. As you can see, the address will go in. The seat's going to move all the way up uh, to take as much place as you can in front. Plastic in the rear. And you can see the passenger place in the rear that are not too big. Oh, I'm going to lift you this. Oh, it's kind of hard with the seat up. Locking and locking. So right now they're both locked in place. I want you to get a good look at the rear of the car. Not too much place huh, in the rear. Those nice speaker, Burmeister. And you've got those cup holders right there in the center. Four passenger. And yes, oh, by the way, I forgot to show you right there in the middle. You've got access to USB connectors and some storage space. So for the trunk really not an easy access in the rear so it's a coupe you don't buy this car to roll every time with a lot of people as on board nice and deep trunk it's looking good and if you want to pull down the seat you pull the hatch hatch number one hatch number two and if you want to check right there under you're going to get some storage space but no spare tire still you got a first aid kit from mercedes-benz some lighting and let's go back to those seat if you want to pull them down, oh, really hard for my back. Come on, <laughs> the pelt is in the way. There you go. Sorry, I hit my mic. <laughs> so now the seat is down and it's gonna give you a cool access to put more stuff in the trunk. But hey, get your back ready. <laughs> it will hurt while you will be trying to pull that down. So for the hood, Gonna get the hatch which is right here. Just pull that up. And nice 2.0 engine. The battery is right there on the side, and you can see also the suspension for the brakes for the suspension. That really complex mechanic mechanism of wiper. And you've got also your washer fluid out there on the on my right. And you've got also the, the olive oil that you can check and the place where you add the oil. A little bit in the back, I think. So air filter is right here on the side. So as you can see, this is a nice mechanic, nice 2.0 engine. Every performance car seems to be 2.0 turbo engine. So right now, what do you think about that nice interior of Mercedes-Benz? Feel free to comment in this section down there below. Also, which one do you prefer the most? This one or the interior of its competitor, the interior of the BMW? 
Feel free to comment in this section down there about our question. Also, subscribe to Car Question because we're gonna do more video for you. And if you like that one, well, feel free to do a thumbs up. And if not, well, tell us why also. So there you go, take care, take care guys. See you another time on Car Question.